Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to list 5 Spider-Man characters you might see in Phase 5. Let's get right into it. After nearly 15 years, Marvel Studios has broken numerous records on its way to becoming the highest grossing film franchise of all time. Despite announcing a slew of projects years in advance, Marvel has been tight-lipped about what's coming up in Phase 5. Given the size of the fictional world, there are numerous possibilities for characters to join the mainline series. However, some fans are curious to see which Spider-Man characters you might see in the highly anticipated phase. Let's list them out. Miles Morales One of the things that fans love about the Marvel Cinematic Universe is the frequent references to comic book lore that can go over the heads of more casual audiences but often end up planting the seeds for story threads that are paid off years later. The interaction between Tom Holland's Peter Parker and Donald Glover's Aaron Davis in Spider-Man Homecoming is perhaps the best example. For the uninitiated, it appears to be a light-hearted exchange between the two characters, but fans who are familiar with Davis's comic book history as the Prowler and his family Tree are blown away by the reference to his nephew, which seem to acknowledge that Miles Morales exists somewhere in the MCU. Soon after, Kevin Feige confirmed it, and with Holland admitting that he'd love to share the screen with Miles, it appears that it's only a matter of time before the fan-favorite Spider-Man makes his official live-action debut. There has been widespread speculation that he will eventually replace Peter Parker as the MCU's full-time web-slinger, but knowing Marvel, they will no doubt introduce the character and establish him in the mythology first, before making such a significant change to one of their marquee heroes. Now that Miles appears to be a case of when, rather than if, he appears in the MCU, the rumor mill is already in overdrive about where he could be dropped into the franchise, and it may happen sooner than you think. In fact, he is currently scheduled to appear in two Phase 5 films. Spider-Gwen Fans on Reddit won't stop talking about the possible appearance of Spider-Gwen in the fifth phase of MCU. Steel Slayer Matt notes Spider-Gwen as his choice, saying Spider-Gwen as played by Sabrina Carpenter, as some rumors have suggested, might be a possibility. Though there haven't been any actors' names officially in line for the character, Sabrina Carpenter has been a popular choice among fans. Given Sony's ownership of the Spider-Man characters, it's unclear whether his version of Gwen Stacy will appear in the Marvel Cinematic Universe or Sony's Spider-Man Universe. In any case, it would be fantastic to see her square off against her version of the Kingpin, who happens to be Matt Murdock. Scorpion If you don't remember the post credit scene from Spider-Man Homecoming, and who can blame you when Marvel has clearly forgotten about it at this point, Adrian Toomes meets a particular crook when he arrives in prison. This is Matt Gargan, the same guy Spider-Man fought against on the Staten Island Ferry and the civilian identity of Spider-Man villain Scorpion. Homecoming perfectly set up the Long Tail Terror's big screen debut as the two bad guys shared a wicked grin. And then Marvel did absolutely nothing with it. Matt Gargan is one of Spider-Man's oldest foes, first appearing in 1964 as a test subject for a process that would imbue humans with animal characteristics. Gargan, now enhanced with strength and durability, as well as a robotic telescopic tail capable of shooting acid, became the Scorpion and Spider-Man's longtime headache. He's not usually one of Spider-Man's most clever or ambitious opponents, but he always makes for a visually interesting fight, and it would be nice to finally see him on the big screen, even if only as a minor stumbling block. There's a lot of story potential here. Norman Osborn Norman Osborn is a prominent character in Marvel's Spider-Man series, as well as the owner, leader and CEO of Oscorp, who conceals his past behind a wall of lies. Now, rumor has it that he will be seen yet again in Phase 5. Recently, there has been a great deal of confusion surrounding Spider-Man freshman year, particularly because it was originally intended to fill in Peter Parker's origin story as it occurred in the MCU. Now, the show has confirmed that it will feature an interaction with Norman Osborn rather than the similar one with Tony Stark in Captain America Civil War, though it is unclear whether this is the same MCU hero. Silver Sable Silver Sablanova, also known as Silver Sable, is a tertiary antagonist in Marvel's Spider-Man and a supporting character in The City That Never Sleeps, a downloadable content campaign. She is the owner and leader of the international mercenary company Sable International, as well as the princess of the Simkarian royal family. But rumor has it that a Silver Sable film is in the works at Sony. Silver Sable was supposed to make her film debut alongside Alicia Hardy in the unproduced Silver and Black. The screenwriters couldn't agree on a proper path to take that would deliver a satisfying story for both characters in one film. The Sony executives eventually decided that it was time to put the project on hold. 
That's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on any future content we'll produce for you guys. We're signing off now, but we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.